Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to see how to do the color adjustment or color grading using Adobe Premiere Pro for any video in some easiest ways. So first thing is I will have to take a few clips. I will take some indoor clips as well as some outdoor clips so that you understand it. Uh, all three are downloaded clips. So I will first show you with the outdoor clip. Yeah. So I would be taking this clip and drag and drop it here. This is the first thing. Now second is I'll have to come to windows and I'll have to look for numeric color which is already ticked. You can see it is checked. If in your, your case, if it is not checked, just check this box. And then in effect control, you, you come to this effect, you just uh, take the effect here. And here you uh, type from windows, you'll have to take the effects. Okay. And effect and effect control and uh, lumetri color, these three things should be checked from window. Okay. Once it is done, come here and type color. So you'll have to go for this color correction. It will open color correction. If you go to this downwards arrow, you drag a little bit downwards, you'll, you will find this lumetri color. So all you need to do is you'll have to drag and drop it to source. Now let me let me tell you what is the source. When you are you if you are suppose if you are here, you will see one source. This is basically the clip. I am not talking about this source. Your, uh, you should be selecting your your uh, effect control. You should be selecting your uh, clip and then this effect control. And here you see there is one source button. So what is the difference if you put this geometric color to this source? First you have to select the source. And here if you put this uh, this geometric color, then if it will make one pass right so we would be creating such three passes right and then for future use we are going to save all these three pass layers so that whenever you um, create any video indoor or outdoor you don't have to do the adjustment from the scratch you can just do a little bit of modification if at all required and you will be done that's the reason you should be coming to source and then you'll have to just drag and drop it in this panel which is lumetri color once it is done first thing is we will be coming to this basic correction right keep always keep this video layer selected and come to uh, come to basic correction in basic correction we would be taking first white balance in consideration what will white balance do in this basic correction we would be doing to some extent basic modification of color and tone and temperature and that will be just a basic correction and it will make the video look okay just okay right so first thing is you can take this uh, this color picker and you can take any tone from here but I am not going to do that. I am going to take this temperature. I am going to change it. You, you can also take the temperature. Uh, you, you can see that the lumetri color has come. And the right hand side uh, column as well. Right hand side panel. So here you can also change from this, um, this crawler. You can go to right words to make it more, uh, more uh, reddish. Warm. And left side it is more bluish which is cooler so for me let me give a little bit of cooler side so let it make change minus 10 and see let me just scroll it a little bit more okay so uh, I will make it a little bit bluish in order to make uh, the front side blue okay then I'm going to come to saturation and I'm going to increase it a little bit. Tiny little bit. Okay. Now you see the difference as soon as I have made the saturation, it has kind of saturated the entire uh, background as well as this part. I'm making this temperature 3 for this. I'm making tint minus 4. You see tint minus 4 will give it, give it a greenish shade. 
Next is saturation. I have already taken a good saturation for this. I will make exposure 0.2, 0 0.2. I will make the highlight 25. Right? And I will make the shadow, I will make the darker side little more darker in order to make that. I need to make the shadow a little negative. If I give it positive, then it will be more whitish. So I want little dark around it. So I will make it minus 35. You see the difference? It has kind of made the entire video look more cinematic. Right? And then I will come to whites and blacks. These two if I balance then it will take the color of white parts and black parts and will make it more intense. In order to do that, I want the white part to be minus 20 and my dark uh, black part to be minus 5 or 6. Okay, so this is, this is the basic color correction which I wanted, right? I can you can make the saturation change from here as well but for this that's because this is an uh, outdoor video saturation 114 115 to 115 is okay right so once this is done you will I will just show you how was it before if I click on this active active uh, checkbox you see this was the before and after basic correction this is the after right so th this is um, previous and this is after basic correction but this is not all we're going to go a little more deeper right so what are going to, what are we going to do is we are going to change this a this HSL secondary part as well. Now let me tell you what is this all about. H is hue, S is shadow, and L is luminosity. These will basically work really well when you would be playing with a front faced video, which I'm going to show you in a while. But just to make you understand, here we would be taking the the highlight the hue of this entire entire uh, video and we, we are going to place it you see if i will have to first uncheck these two boxes and i'll have to just keep this first box check upper uh, upper portion the upper triangle will make me uh, select the part of the gray the, the darker part and this one will will help me to feather it out to fade it out right first I will play with this I will have to make the, all the all the dark part and I'll have to see where is it coming to where is it taking all the dark part you see this has already taken the dark parts and then I will have to just fade it out a little bit okay and then I will just bring this white part a little bit more just just kind of merge it together okay now next i will come to this shadow part again i will take the dark parts here and i will kind of fade it out so that no dark harsh border is seen and finally the light part This is for the lighter part. I will simply drag these two parts. And now you see the difference. This was before and this is after. Right? So once it is done, you can go to show mask, then it will show you and you can change it. You can also change the color from here color gray, black, or white, black. I keep it color gray only right and then you come here and do this well you will have to just make it to make it more bright you'll have to just drag this uh, the scale a little bit and here if you want to give it a blue um, cool a cooler effect then you'll have to drag this pointer to the blue side or else i want to give it a little more warm so i will make it a little bit uh, yellowish in this tone okay so i'm done with it um 
and uh, if you want to give a little more pigment that's up to you uh, if I give it you see if I give uh, brownness 40 see there will be uh, there is a kind of white um, shadow kind of a thing here you see this uh, slight dark thing uh, dark corners here uh, so I can even make it okay so I'm okay with it uh, so this is how you do the basic correction and you play with HSL secondary and then you change this black part and you, you pick up a particular color you can also take the color gradient from here or else you can change it from this I prefer to go for this because this gives me much broader aspect of it and uh, that's the reason I use this color wheel and then further you can uh, go for pigment and give it a little more feather and brownness and uh, midpoint view here right this is the this is the this was the, the previous one and this is after entire correction clip I'm going to take another clip here so I have actually dragged the, the uh, footage here in order to make it fit for the screen and now if I see this this is how my footage is looking okay now I will take the best clip where I have already done the color correction and I will go to the source and here if I right click and save this as preset and uh, I will type it color preset outdoor outdoor color preset and save it and here if I come to preset preset option I will get this preset as well outdoor color preset so I will simply drag I will select this footage and I will simply drag and drop it here so you see the difference I don't really have to do it from the scratch this is what I was saying always when once you're um, you have already done a satisfactory change in order to make um, uh, one particular geometric color preset you always save it by right clicking and saving so that you just get it in the preset option under effects and then you just drag and drop it here I will go to color correction once again color correction from here I will take another pass here right keeping this footage selected now here as because this is the front face I will have to make a little more detailing so what I'll do is first I will go for this HSL secondary option and here I will um, take the the highlight first I will uncheck these two and I will uh, kind of take the first bring it here and you will have to select the black part only the darker part and then rest you'll have to kind of merge it okay and then again you next you go to the shadow part bring it this side by dragging this uh, upper part and kind of uh, try to um, try to acquire as much darkest shadow area as possible and then just merge it away like this and lastly it is the luminosity it's, it's just the light light part so you'll have to again make it drag it a little more and have to check exactly where is it covering the most of the bright part white part and then finally fade it away once it is done you just go to show mask and see if everything all right and then finally you drag this little upwards and you see the difference you see the difference you see the difference and then you do the further uh, because this shadow part I'm not liking it's a little bit harsh so I will kind of fade it away like so I will have to just make it a little smaller and then I will bring this to little uh, At the mid tone, I want it to be a little, um, little more uh, warmer. So I want it to be a little cooler. 
so i'll keep it in this this part and uh, temperature i can make it 10 let me see okay now you see the difference and then if i want tint to be little bit in a greenish side or to a uh, um, little bit in a greenish side then i'll have to make it minus two let's see how does it look you see the difference the uh, purple tone has kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, diluted and it is having uh, an even a tone everywhere and if i want to give it a vignette that's uh, the round uh, amount i should be doing minus uh, two okay you see these dark parts have become even more darker and the roundness i will make minus two again okay so this is how my clip is looking now i will just show you from here this is the outdoor one uh, uh, let me just show you from the outdoor to the indoor one this is the outdoor one and now this is the indoor clip yes so you see the difference right so um, if I want to show you even in more detail um, so I will just off if I make it off then this is the this is the footage after basic color correction and this is after doing the pop-up right so this is how you can make a video a face front face video indoor video which we usually shoot uh, in order to create youtube contents you can simply uh, make a preset you can even set it as preset again as in um, indoor color preset so that it remains in the preset section right and then if i if i go to preset i get both the presets here once you're satisfied with this clips you are supposed to come to this file option then from here go to export go to media it will open this export uh, dashboard here you can change the name to color correction color correction is mostly about uh, your creative eye so whatever you feel i have just shown you the tools where you are supposed to go and what you're supposed to do but uh, how is it going to work for your particular clip that is really uh, absolutely up to you that is your discretion and uh, make sure you do let me know in the comment section uh, how you have implemented these tactics small small tactics and made your video look amazing so uh, i will you can select your respective folder here i have already selected it save it make sure it is in high bitrate and h264 this is usually preset and format remains in this way only but still double check this it should be in uh, preset should be in adaptive high bitrate and format should be h.264 once it is done then export it so it will take a while and we get exported and i really look forward to get your likes and comment and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't so thank you so very much uh one small announcement backpay media has come up with a wonderful android app which is available in google play store now which is a very small very lightweight app so uh, please do download our app where i'll be coming up with different free courses as well as uh basic and pro level courses for you and we will be coming up with batches as well you may interact with me via that our app provided that is there in your mobile so only thing you'll have to do is just go to google play store and search for backpay media the link will be there in the description as well please do keep it downloaded in your mobile and you may interact with me and get all the information information whenever i'll be launching my next courses do let me know what kind of content you're looking forward so that I can make my videos more engaging and more valuable for you. Today this month, this is Follow Me. Thank you for watching. I'll come back with some fun tutorial next week. Till then, stay safe, stay legendary.